Hello everyone, my name is Matt, I'm Matthew, I really don't mind. Welcome to the next episode of my US Navy campaign in Isle Tristan, 1946. Now, of course, I, I said in the previous episode that I'd off-screen the mission because, uh, that I was doing in that episode because I failed it and ran out of time to uh, re-attempt it. So I off-screened it this time. Uh, and by off-screen I mean that like I just let the autopilot do it for me. Which, of course, is cheating, but uh, I, I need to... Uh, I wanted to hurry up and uh, get back to actually getting on with the campaign. But anyway, here we go. Here's the real combat report now. Uh, so we have the same as all usual here, except the pancake is when we when we get when we reach back down again. So obviously, uh, the mission went off for quite some time. It was quite successful. Uh, the uh, the autopilot controlling me actually managed to get a kill. It was a Zeke, I believe, a zero. That we got, that we killed. So uh, I suppose that doesn't really count as one of ours because I didn't do it. But uh, it's just nice to have. Uh, we did quite successfully. We eliminated most of the fighters and bombers, although they'd already been able to drop their payload and launch an attack on our carriers and ships. The Saratoga was very badly crippled and is listing very heavily. Uh, the Lexington seems to be okay because I went back and landed on it. I did that manually so I didn't have to wait for the thing to do it for me. And uh, I landed with it nice and successfully. Nice and smooth. Did everything right. Didn't have to rush. And there we go. So, yeah, I believe the same amount of enemies as in the last to in the first attempt. Uh, but, yeah, look at that. Fletcher got four kills there. Very good of him. I assume he made it back. Same thing with this chap, he got a kill, and then obviously the, my, the autopilot got my kill for me, but we lost this chap, which is a shame. But, uh, yeah, but we made it back, and we killed most of these things. So these are the ones that we killed. Uh, we don't know what the other squadron did. They carried on chasing the bombers back. We were going over here, uh, you know, by over this vague line here, which doesn't necessarily mean that we control that territory. It just means that that's where they'll be spawning in from. But uh, anyway, let's uh, apply this and get on with the uh, with the next mission. So that was at seven o'clock this morning, and we got back at eight. Uh, it's still sixth of May. It's now ten uh, quarter past ten. So it's been a couple of hours since I landed from the last mission. <coughs> Weather's the same again. Clouds are higher this time. That's nice. Hank, we must find the enemy carrier whose planes just attacked us. Four F four F threes under command of Lieutenant Commander Fletcher will comb through the sector C D forty two and will fly on his wing. So yeah. So we're going out now to try and find the carrier find the carriers that though that big big bundle of planes that was launched managed to sneak up on this because they were retreating in this direction, you see here. Uh, but they obviously f were over here or something launched like this and then turned to attack so that they would go in a nice big swoop and then be able to bug off, bugger off and get back over to their carriers. So we've got to go out now and uh, do a bit of reconnaissance and try and find them. Uh, these aren't always successful and we may run into people. We've got to hope that we don't get shot down over this because uh, we will get captured. And then of course we expect the carriers to be in position over here for when we come back to land. We'll have plenty of fuel, I believe. Do I have full fuel tank? Yes, it's not, it only lets me have a full fuel tank. So, yeah, here we go. Have we got any new people? Who was it? What was his name? Figueroa was killed. Oh, this guy was apparently missing in action. I didn't hear about him. What happened to him? He might have been in the other squadron or something. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to put the state in my uh, roster name because it doesn't pick up spaces, it just comes up with underscores, so I just let it out. But we're still definitely from Brazelton, Georgia. But anyway, let's get on with this mission, shall we? Alright, here we are. I suppose I'll take this good opportunity to show you a proper takeoff. So, here we go. Maximum throttle, still got the brakes on. Uh, do we want to lock the tail wheel now? Probably not just yet. Let go of the brakes. Move out the way of the tower, because we didn't la we were launching from the side. Lock the tail wheel now and get as much speed as we can and up we go what the hell? there you go fair bit of a drop zero, that is alright let's get zero, the flaps one. up get Over. the gear up mash shift G which is what I've got it but as I, know, I have shift G to raise it and control G to lower it because uh, ordinary G is just to use the automatic ones oh wow what's what that hell? ship down there Stay with your leader. Stay 
It's close to the canopy. It looks like some kind of passenger ship, probably a supply ship of some sort. I don't know. But there we go, successful takeoff. It's a lot easier to take off from an aircraft carrier than to land on it. Uh, although uh, flying in the bombers, it's an even bigger trouble because uh, they don't take off very quickly. Yeah, they're a lot more difficult to fly in this game. So yeah, we're going to do a little uh, thingy here just to get everybody back in the formation, and then we're going to begin a long ass fucking flight over here. It probably might take up to half an hour in real time, but hopefully uh, I shouldn't be here too long because there's not that many objects in this mission. And uh, yeah, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll accept the chat here. Yeah. So if you if you like controlling the flying and doing all that sort of stuff, this kind of mission is really nice. But uh, for me. Um, I like doing the flying, taking off and landing, and you know, and obviously doing the the, the combat and stuff like that. But it's kind of this is kind of reminiscent of many of bomber campaigns where it's just just doing nothing, mostly just flying there, doing your do, and then coming back and then landing. It's just very very time consuming. And some people may enjoy that. So I can enjoy it from time to time, but for right now, it's not really what I play the game for. So I'm going to skip ahead now until uh, something interesting happens. Alright. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Here we are, near our now point. We've heard reports that we've been running into other enemy scouting parties here. We're probably looking for our carrier group. But uh, what was that? I'm sure I spotted some. What's that? There's an object there, can you just see in centre frame there? There's a ship. What can the chat do? Oh, just, you see there, there's a ship. There's more ships. What's going on there? We spotted something. Ah. I've, I've still got an autopilot right now because uh, we're not really doing any combat in this mission. But yeah, we might get a better look at those ships now on the way back here. Hmm. Can't control the canopy on autopilot. But yeah, we can see there in the distance there, there's a ship. Whether it's a carrier or not remains to be seen, but we can probably guess it's part of the carrier group. So we've spotted pretty much where they are. Perhaps our next mission will be escorting uh, a nice set of... Um, what you might call it? A nice set of dauntless dive bombers, or well, at this point of the war, it'd be devastated torpedo planes. We don't yet have the uh, oh wow, that works. We don't yet have the Avenger in mainline service. Oh yeah, those are, these are lights, by the way. One, two, and three. I've got bound to the uh, interior lights for night flying, uh, navigation lights as well for night flying, and then landing lights. And I'm flying too, although theoretically you would use your nav and landing lights in the daytime as well so, so people could see where you are, but I believe in wartime they would, you would be flying you would keep your lights off so that you couldn't be spotted so yeah, there we go, there's another good look well, I'm saying a good look oh. so there's something there we don't want to, we're not going out to attack it, we have no means to attack whatever's over there so we've spotted a group of ships of some sort, and we could tell from this group of uh, fighters, and I believe from this one coming back, uh, that, there, that there were that planes were coming from this general area. So it seems like they're travelling uh, to the northwest, just like we are. In fact, uh, our carrier is right here right now, but uh, it won't be for long because uh, we should be able to meet it more or less by this waypoint. But uh, you won't have to wait for me doing this whole thing. But uh, so yeah, I'm going to skip ahead until it's time to land. All right, here we go. We made it back safe to the carrier. There he is. There she is. Now I'm just going to request clearance because uh, obviously uh, being last information means I have to wait for them to land first and then despawn off the deck. So now I should be nice and safe. But uh, first, let's. Uh, Get properly slowed down here. So get the hook down. So use the rudder to help with slowing down as well. Open the radiator too. 
Make sure everything's all set. Oh, we've got to bring down the gear. Whoa. I find it sometimes a bit easier to land on carriers, to land on carriers than to land on like airfields, because these thingies don't require much. Um, don't require much thingy because they take off so fast, and also they they don't land. They don't need much room to land because they have the uh, arresting cables. So I do have it down. There we go. Hopefully they're not they're going to land on the Saratoga, which should be in a bit better state of repair if it didn't sink since the last mission. Here we go, landing on Lady Lex. Should have brought down the last of the flaps earlier, to be honest. Going to idle the throttle, mostly. Coming in a bit high, to be honest. One catch a cable. There we go. A bit dicey there. Because I didn't, I, I didn't catch one of the starting cables, but I managed to catch one of the spare ones. That's the end. Chocks are in, aren't they? I can take the hook off. So there we go. I caught one of the later ones instead. Because you see, there's a, uh, there's a lift there. Uh, is there one at the other end? I can't see one at the other end. But yeah, normally, I believe they probably. Uh, Revised the design on the Yorktown and the later classes like the Yorktown or maybe even the USS Ranger But uh, they'd have a lift at the back to bring them up and then a lift at the other end to uh, bring them down after landing So they could quickly get them out so they haven't got to wheel them back to that single elevator there in the middle But my squadron made it back okay, didn't run into any uh, Any uh, problems this other scouting party is landing on the uh, Saratoga I'm not sure if the uh, the other carriers have reached us yet uh, is that still smoking since the last mission? I don't know. Can I switch to it? Can I switch to it? I say. Can I switch to it? Can I say? Oh. Well, we don't need to see them. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we go. It's going at that a bit of a wrong angle, to be honest. But it's got it right angles for the uh, for the arrested cable. There we go. That was nice, wasn't it? So here we go, here is the Saratoga, she's somehow managed to recover all that damage since the, uh, her last engagement. Well, yeah, so obviously yeah they were enemy carriers because I believe that's what some of them were landing at when they despawned off the map, but of course uh, our chaps didn't know that. But uh, enough dawdling, we've finished the mission. Alright, so we took off quarter past ten, we landed back at twenty-five to twelve, so yeah it was a pretty long mission. At least by the by game standards. So uh, a squadron here shot down a bunch of thingies. We didn't shoot down anybody. We we just spotted we spotted the the carriers or we what we thought were. There's plenty of uh, Zeeks apparently. Uh, there's some more shot down over here. All right. So we spotted them there. What's going What's going to happen now? Are we going to escort a bunch of bombers? Uh, oh no! It's another reconnaissance flight. Only the two of us this time. Oh, perhaps we need to double check that it's a bunch of carriers that we saw, not just some old ship. So it's uh, 12 o'clock now, so it's a little bit later on. In fact, it's not that far. I mean, what we, what we, we, we landed at 25 to 12, so we're already going out once again. Bloody hell. Mm, we better get some nice rest for tomorrow. So. <clears throat> Gentlemen, today we are performing reconnaissance flights looking for Japanese ships 2F4F3s under the command of Lieutenant Commander Fletcher. We'll scout Sector BY41 and we're the only, his only wingman, so we've got to make sure we do what we're told here. Right. <clears throat> so, yeah, this will be interesting. Hopefully, we won't get, we won't run into loads of people and be outnumbered. That would be rather annoying. Anyway, let's go on with this, shall we? Alright. Now it'll be our turn to take off. Mm -hmm. Full throttle, get the engine nice and spooled up, and let go of the brakes. Maneuver, lock the tail wheel. This is that bloody uh, conning tower. Trim the nose up quite a fair bit as well, and there we go. A little bit of a drop to be expected. And 
success. Up the gear. Alright, so come here, Mr. Chap. The, the AI knows how to do all these carrier takeoffs and landings and managing the engine, supercharger, and stuff like perfectly. So it's very unlikely you'll be able to keep up with them and then they'll start whining at you for lagging behind. Alright. But close the canopy just to uh, reduce the drag. Mm. Alright. So we're going to do a little circle and then we're going to uh, patrol not far, what was it CD41 did we patrol last time? Uh, something like that. So we're going to do another scout, another reconnaissance flight in a slightly forward location from last time, like relative to our ship. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get this over with, try and get some more information. I want to be able to double check that we saw the carrier group and then they'll get an old big flight of bombers for us to escort soon. So anyway, I'm going to skip ahead till something interesting happens. Alright, here we are over our waypoint and uh, I did hear some flat... Oh, what's this down here? What is that? It's firing at us. I know that much. Oh! What is it? Is it a submarine? That, that can happen in, the, in this campaign. Especially with the bomber campaign, we can get... Um, we can spot submarines and then we go out and try and bomb the bugger. Or like, disable it and then bomb it. Because obviously we can only carry one bomb. With, but with the, these aircraft. Hmm. So we spotted something. And we weren't necessarily looking for carriers. So we spotted a submarine. So our bombers will probably uh, do a mission to uh, go and do to a uh, bomb that since it hasn't got any uh, aircraft looking for it. We've got no means to engage ships, and even if we did, we could only carry a very small bomb. So it's just back on back to the carrier now. So we've done our job. Yeah, I wonder where that hit. Oh, there it is. There, that's the damage, isn't it? Yeah. So they were. Um, I did get hit by that thing. That's why I started recording again because I just heard a boom and I was like ooh what bloody hell was that so uh, we're going to piss off away from it now and uh, leave that to our bombers and uh, you'll rejoin me for the landing All right. okay so we've got clearance now going to slow things down here a bit ooh, let me close that we don't want to make sure it's quite that rich <laughs> Get start getting the flaps down. Open that. So it's a bit easier to see. There is that is the right ship, isn't it? Yep, it is. Going a bit, giving it quite a wide berth, to be honest. Just to make sure that my uh, leader was has uh, landed and got out of the way. All right. I'm already sure what the landing speed of this is. I think it's like 90 miles per hour in the game, but uh, it doesn't hurt to go a little bit faster because it's not as if it's only real problem. It's mainly the angle that's the problem. Because if you bounce, if you bounce too heavily and bounce too high, the cable will still be attached to your resting hook, and it's uh, yeah, you'll be in a spot of trouble. You'll come crashing down on the deck. So anyway, not quite lined up, not quite low. Start getting the everything ready got some flaps and because there's a little bit of damage to my right wing it is having a bit of an effect on the on the uh, the handling you see there so I'm going to compensate for that by adding some trim to the left and it's slowing down nicely now get some more flaps just to re reduce the stall speed and some more flaps I'm not sure, quite sure of the speeds. I should really check the, the placard speeds. Yeah, a bit quick now. You want to be idle. Yep. Okay, and idle. Oh, bounced again. Quick catch cable. Oh, <laughs> 
So yeah, once again, have not yet quite filmed the good landing. I think I uh, should have really um, pulled up at the last moment there to try and uh, get my get the hook down. But it uh, doesn't matter. We made it just about. I mean, oof, look at all this here. I'm not sure what, why you'd have cables on this end because it's kind of bit of a kind of bit late to uh, try and uh, catch somebody here because they just pull you and drag you to the, down the bottom side of the ship but we're here I did put the chocks in didn't I? Yep, there we are so nice it's back, safe and sound so let's get on to the uh, debrief here alright, here we go so yeah, just to give you a sense of scale this is how big the map is pretty big and uh, when I zoomed out of the map on the, in the during the game, uh, you couldn't see any of you could vaguely see the waypoint lines. You couldn't see any icons. This map is huge. It's bigger than any of the maps I've been on so far in the German campaign or the Leningrad campaign. So it's a very big map. I mean that mission itself was probably about 45, 50 minutes long. So that's why I had to fast forward it loads. But anyway, <clears throat> so we took off at 12 o'clock. Got back at oh well I landed at seven minutes past one. Didn't run in technically run into any enemy planes. We just run into that submarine probably is what it was, and uh, yeah, and, and all that. All right. So got time for the next mission. We'll apply this. Hmm. Well, oh, this is an interesting one. So now it's uh, half past two. So we've uh, rested for an hour or so. The weather seems to be better, I suppose. Or worse, does that mean? Alright, what's this? Uh, Lieutenant Commander Fletcher, we have reports that an F3, F4, F3 was ditched in CE45. Try to locate a pilot. Nah. Uh. Uh, so that'll be interesting. I doubt we'll be very successful with this. Alright, what's this? So we're with him, with four of us this time, which is a nice relief. Alright, so we're going to go fly over here, pretty much do the same thing. We're going to go over there, look for somebody, and if we can find them, I imagine they'd send a search party. But uh, I seriously doubt we'll be able to. I'm not really sure if, this, if at any point you're able to actually see anything, you know, like a little life raft or smoke flare or anything like that. We literally just fly there and then fly back. Alright then, let's get on with this mission, shall we? Alright, getting up and ready to go. Get one of the canopies open. Alright. I'm going to be quick so that they don't whinge at me for lagging behind. Alright, there we go. Oh, knock the mark from there. Tail wheels locked, so that they're locked for landing so we don't veer off or something into the... into the, uh, whatever you call it. The, uh, the big tower. Alright. Oh. There we go, usual take-off. I never really have much problem with take-off. Get this gear up, shall we? Mashing, molding down she, and then uh, shift, and then mashing the G button, and we get the flaps up too. There we go. The nose will drop because I had it trimmed. By it. Is, that, is it positive if it goes up and negative if it goes down? I'm not sure. Uh, the flaps upset that balance that I set. But there we go. Nice, well handling aircraft. This thing. Nice to see everything there, it's not a straightforward, it's just a shame it's not, it's not a very good combat plane, this thing, but it handles very well, you know. That, that aileron trim, which one is it down here? I'm not sure which one it is down there. You know, I mean, I'm, gl I'm okay with the trade-off of having, taking out, having to manually raise and lower the gear, just so I can have aileron trim, because it's just a wonderful bit of kit. I mean, all aircraft now have it. But uh, aircraft nowadays are pretty stable enough to not require that much trimming other than like elevator trim. But uh, anyway, enough babbling. We need to get on with this mission because I'm running out of time. But are we going to run into anybody on the way? Well, I suppose we can expect somebody. Technically, we wouldn't know this. So this is going to be, oh, maybe a bit interesting if we run into those. But uh, other than that, I'll skip ahead until something interesting happens. All right. Well, um, here we are. All right, we're running into some fighters here. Where are they? I can't see them. 
from the others. Yeah, we did reach our waypoints. We didn't spot the pilot, but uh, my leader decided to try and go after one of these search Japanese search parties here. Or at least wherever they are. the hell they are. Uh, well, I'm trying to catch up to you. We keep spinning off with that. Me, you Um, hmm. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't have to run into these things on the way back because this is quite a lot of time to skip. The mission's probably already 40 minutes long with, with all that skipping. Oh my god, here they are. Oh, right. come here, you bastard. Ooh, it's faster than me. Oh, shit. No. Oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't want to get shot down over here. So I get captured. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. Uh oh. Yeah, he seems to be distracted right now. This was a bad idea. I think there's just two of them. Oh, did they get one? I think they got one. But the leader's on my tail. And this thing is a bit of a bucket. Alright, got some good speed here in this dive. Can't really remember what supercharger position they need to be in at this altitude. Oh god. How fast are we going? Almost 300 miles per hour. Whoa! Could have seen that. Oh dear. Alright, where are we going? Where'd he go? There he is. Is he dogfighting me? Or is he dogfighting that my, my leader? My leader's on his tail right now. Hopefully you'll be able to give him some. Give him some American job. Whoa! Look at that! Went boom! Boom shakalaka. So what happens when you don't have self-sealing fuel tanks. The fuel just go, uh, just lights up like a matchbox. That's their nickname, the matchbox. Now, are we going to are we going to go after this this last member of this flight that went off without that deserted them? So one of my other search parties has uh, gone back to the carriers now. Uh, go for him. Right. Let's fast forward time a little bit. I think the engine's okay. Oh. So, need, to, need to pick up the speed now. I think I'm going to leave. I think I might leave the uh, the RPM as it is. And leave the radiator open. Alright. Here's that last chap. But he's got the altitude advantage. And I won't be able to climb up to meet him. So I've got to wait for him to come down. Unless somebody else is at his altitude. They're out there trying to get to his altitude. Oh, they're at his altitude. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's diving down now. I might have a... Uh, oh, he's a bit too quick. And, uh, oh, we'll need to be our AA to open a little bit. Right. I think he's coming around. Is he turning for a pass? Try this then, shall we? Well, I am really running out of time here. I might have to skip the landing if I make it back alive. Ooh, I'm going to swoop round, go on his tail. Oh, I got it. Aha! What to get? Sunshine. I didn't hit him. Uh, well, that should be it. To be honest. So yeah, a bit uneventful there, and a bit of a waste of the video's time, but yeah. Kind of relieved that I didn't get shot down. Looks like any other enemies have left the battle. So now it's just going to be us going back and uh, uh, going back and landing safely. So uh, we'll see you for that. Okay, so I, I, I do have time to fit in the landing, which is nice, but uh, I believe after this episode, of, um, well maybe just the takeoff to be honest, because it's the... Uh, it's the uh, the landings which are the more interesting bit. Just gonna make sure I'm looking at the right carrier. <laughs> yep, this is the right one. All right then. Start slow down. It's probably a bit. I've probably given it a bit too of a wide berth, but I am still in the normal approach pattern. Perhaps I'm a bit low. 
Right, here we go. Start to slow down properly here. Not too much. Oh yeah, full RPM. I'm gonna close the radiator. Right. <laughs> so spamming the uh, the gear lever here. Got that down. Hook is down. How are we looking? Probably a bit high, but uh, it's okay. We're coming down nicely. Ah. So, yeah, interesting. This probably might be our last mission of the day for the 6th of May. Uh, how many missions have we done? Four now? Probably a bit high still. Yeah, we've got the landing flaps. So yeah, this probably might advance the next mission. We'll advance to the next day out of so many. Oh. Hey! I think that worked. Bit of quite of a harsh bounce to be honest. But uh let's just have a quick glimpse. How's everything looking? Yeah, bit of a harsh bounce, not yeah, but uh, we managed to catch one of the uh, probably one of the earlier uh, arresting cables, and uh, yeah, nicely done. Normally I'll be able to taxi. I'm not sure what that lift is for there, in just in front of me. But there's the one there which is designed to be able to uh, uh, bring and to uh, take down and bring up the planes. So here we are, safe and sound. Nice successful landing. So. You know, yeah, I will keep the landings at least for the time being, but uh, I'm going to leave the takeoffs. They're going to leave out the takeoffs because they're pretty straightforward, unless it's in like a, in like an air raid of some sort where I've got to get out quick, out quickly. But let's have a look here at this briefing. Uh, hmm, that's what we got here. So yeah, it looks like it's yeah, we we're just doing our bits and bobs and flying and you know, blah blah blah. blah ran into some fighters on the way because uh, uh, a couple of squadrons spawned in randomly and a couple of our own spawned in up here and so we went to go and help them but uh, obviously uh, Fletcher and this chap got the kills oh I know they only got them here so we didn't actually do it, help them at all there so when we flew out tried to find our man didn't find him or if we did uh, I didn't hear about it on the radios then we ran into some fighters on the way back and then was a fairly smooth flight and uh, got back nice and safe. How long were we out for? So we made contact with the enemy here at uh, 10 to 3, took off at half past 2, and then we made it back at 20, just after 25 to 4, so we were out for some time. Uh, yeah. Alright. Well then, I'm going to call the video here. You'll be able to see the result, what's going on uh, after in the next episode. Yeah, I'm going to call it here because uh, uh, it's long enough. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, favourite, subscribe, any of all that. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.